Greetings, Dennis, into the digital world. This is the Zero Killer coming today on day 205 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And today, a weird bit of a nostalgia came to me. Uh, the kind of nostalgia that reminds you that, you know, things change quite often over the course of a lifetime. Um, it, it, you know, everybody talks about how, you know, living in the age of flight, you know, uh, not everybody talks about, but people talk about how there are great evolutions like living in the age of flight when um, you look at the span from the early 19th century, like if you were born in 1900 and you lived to be 70, you would have lived to see the very first flight. You would be old enough to remember the very first flight and to be enamored with it. You would have seen the development of it. You would have seen planes go into war. You would have seen um, the first commercial airlines. You would have seen jets appear, all those things you would have seen. And now flying is just something everybody takes for granted. And But that's, that's an evolution. That's like 50, 60, or well, that's 40 or 50 years of evolution. Um, there are things around us that have evolved in such a short amount of time. And um, I had an example come to me today. This, this is a bank card. Everybody's got one. Mine, I just covered this, uh, the number on it. That's why I was holding it weird. I'm not gonna give you my banking information in any way. Come on, people, it's the internet. But anyway, that's a bank card. And you're like, yeah, it's a bank card, whatever. Well, a weird bit of thing, a weird bit of nostalgia came to me today. My bank card has a chip in it. The chip means you have to slot the thing in there into a into a device to pay for things. This is debit. It's it's ubiquitous in Canada, not so much in America. In America land, sometimes it just doesn't work, and you got to take money out from the bank machine and use cash. Still, that's quaint to me because I use the chip for everything. I could buy a, a stick of gum, not even worry that I'm using this because this it's uh, it's everywhere. And the, the weird bit of nostalgia was when I went to go pay for something at a gas station today, and I had to swipe the card. Whoa! That blew my mind in a tiny little way. And it seems stupid, doesn't it? But think about it. If you take the analogy of flight, when I was a kid, you had to, not even when I was a kid, when I was like 15, you, you had to have cash for just about everything. People weren't taking debit. Debit was a weird thing of the future. And then it became, oh, debit, you don't have debit, you're paying cash? Or, you know, a check, of course. Now you pay with a check, you're looked at like a weirdo, unless it's rent, or for a car, or a big ticket item like that. But it, it went, and then, you know, you got this whole, you got the, yeah, I'm, an, I'm professional, you can tell. Um, then it came to like, everybody's got debit, and you swipe now, it's the chip, it, it's, Evolution. Now, next thing you know, it's going to be in your brain, and it's in a very short amount of time. But things evolve in such weird ways. I was thinking about books. I am an emerald with books. I love books. I'm from a generation where you picked up a book and you read it if you wanted to be entertained, right? If you wanted to, to immerse yourself in a world. I enjoy books. Books fell out of have, are starting to fall out of fashion for these freaking Kindles and things like this, and I don't get it. It just seems so soulless. But look at the evolution of it. You go from a book where you have to go to a store, buy a book, um, and go and grab it and walk or you know, and dedicate your time to reading it, to audiobooks becoming the big thing where someone else reads it to you and you play it over your headphones, to now it's, you got a Kindle. You just, I want a book. Grab your thing. You got Wi-Fi everywhere. That's another one, internet connectivity, but you got Wi-Fi everywhere. Just bam! I got a book, and then you've got your book, and you can read it yourself, or you get an audio book, and someone reads it to you. It's, it's evolution, it's flash change that happens so quickly now that we don't even realize it's happening quickly. The, the, the singularity that everybody talks about, where technology is changing at such a rapid pace we don't even notice it, it's already happening. We just, we, we don't notice that. We've defined something that we've, we, we missed long ago. Now, if I want to look up something and I remember a book from the past, I go, hmm, I remember a book, a book I would love to read again while older and get a different perspective. But damn, I don't remember too much about it. I had this happen, uh, I read a couple of years ago a book um, called Bangkok Dangerous. No, not Bangkok Dangerous, that's a shitty movie. Bangkok 8, Bangkok something. It's a, a Thai detective story thing. It's a fantastic book. But I didn't remember the title when I went into the store the other day. And it used to be that you would have to do this. I would just happen to be there. Where you would go to a library or a bookstore and you would talk to the person there. And if they were impassioned and knew their things, like I found at Chapters the other day, the bookstore, the big box bookstore that I go to to get all my books, um, 
you, you find an impassioned person and you ask them, you say, I remember a book, but I remember nothing about it. It was this color and it, it, it was about this and it was set in this area. I don't remember the author's name and that. And if you're lucky, that person will help you find it. And in this case, they did. But now I could also now pop on the internet and do this shit. It's just crazy. The, the, the ease at which you can find things. And I love it. It's evolution is happening all around us. And it's not in the, we've got like new telekinetic powers. No, we evolve every day in our technologies, in our adaptation to the world around us. And it's wacky and it's cool and it's awesome. And uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. I've, as usual, been the serial killer questions, comments, concerns, death threats. You know to put them, put them in the comment section below. And to the, to the person who called me an idiot in one of my comments a while back, thank you for the view. And the person who asked me if I was on drugs, no, I'm not, and I probably should be. I will talk to you.